Greetings. Um, today we're going to make images mobile responsive. Uh, first add a new image below the existing one. So we've got an image here. Uh, let's see here, right here. This is an image within a link. So we've got a link to image. It doesn't go, it doesn't link to anywhere, but here is our image. Um, it would be great if this image could be exact width of our phone screen. Fortunately, with Bootstrap, all we need to do is add image responsive class to your image. To do this, do this, and the image should fit perfectly fit the width of your page. So we want to add a new image below the existing one. So how do we do that? Um, we go uh, image class. Well, yeah, let's just do this. Source is equal to this uh, thing uh, out. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, cute kittens. Um, I'm adding the out tag because what does it do? It's for people, for, it's search engine optimization. So if you were trying to optimize for a keyword, that would be useful. And then also uh, for people that are like deaf or hard of hearing, if they, or if they're blind people could um, watch, could scroll through a website and this alt text will help them uh, read more efficiently. So right now you see that the screen is too large because of this uh, picture of these kittens. And so what do we want to do? We want to add a class of image responsive, right? So let's go class and we'll make that equal to IMG dash responsive. And now it fits the page. And now look, if I scroll up and down, you'll see that it fits the page the whole time. And so that makes it so it's mobile friendly. If we run the test, I think they'll pass. Awesome. Um, maybe one thing that if you're having a hard time with this, if you were to, maybe you removed this image, maybe that would cause the tests to not pass. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's saying that you need to have a total of two image. The new image should be below your old one and have the class image responsive. Um, your new image should not have the class smaller image. Uh, so yeah, there's, we don't want this. If you have this one, if you were to just copy this image down and you had smaller image in here, this would cause the thing to break. Uh, this, this smaller image um, class selection negates the image responsive class selection. And so we want to have it like that. And it should have the source of this. So that makes, that's pretty, yeah, you want to have your image as the source right here. And your new image element should have a closing angle bracket. Okay, so if you didn't have this closing bracket, maybe that would cause it to fail. Hmm, well, it doesn't. But nonetheless, I think that that's the right thing to do. You want to have it like that. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.